Just wanted to start now before that intro runs too long. I know sometimes it takes a little while for folks to show up live. And, uh, you know, if you're in the comments right now, let me know you're here. I'm going to be building or creating a podcast from scratch today. Um, I'm involved with Transistor. Transistor.fm. We are a podcast platform that helps people host their MP3s, create the RSS feed, create the podcast website, um, do all of that stuff. But the number one question I get is, how do I create a show? Uh, what's involved in you know how do you submit it to iTunes and and all of that? So I wanted to yeah, just wanted to do that now. And uh, like I said, if you're in the comments and you have a question as I'm going through all of this, let me know. I'm uh, just going to switch this over here so I can see it. Perfect. So uh, this is the, um, is this right? No, no, wrong display. Here we go. There we go. So this is what Transistor looks like. I have a bunch of different shows here listed. You can see this is our main show that I record with John Buddha every Tuesday. We haven't done an episode in a while. Uh, you can add an episode like this. Here's a list of all of the episodes we've done. We've got a great way to share an episode. You can embed it in your website so that it looks kind of like this. We have a simple landing page. So even if you don't have a website for your podcast, you can get a landing page like this. And uh, the cool thing with Transistor is if you share this link, let's say on Twitter, and let's see if I just go, your revenue forecast is wrong. So you're sharing, you want to share the episode. I just copied that link. If you share it on Twitter, we will automatically embed the player inside of Twitter so people can listen to the show inside of Twitter just like this. Pretty cool. Uh, and uh, we also have analytics for our show where we give you the average number of downloads per episode for seven days, for 30 days, uh, estimated subscribers, which is really cool. Just giving you an idea of how many people are actually subscribed to your show. And then we track your downloads monthly, uh, although you can see it, you know, for yesterday, past year, past 90 days. Um, so really helpful. Lots of stuff here. Anyway, I that's not what I wanted to show you. What I wanted to show you was how you uh, create a podcast from scratch. And so I'm going to basically start from the beginning, which is, you know, coming up with a name and then what do you do from there? So my advice when you're starting out is to actually go and do some research, go and look at what it's like, go and look at iTunes, go and see what other, uh, what are, you know, top shows doing, what kind of cover art do they have, what kind of um, you know, what kind of topics do they cover? So if I open up iTunes, uh, let's go to the store. I'll show you this right away here. So this is the iTunes store and I'm just going to switch to podcasts. The other thing I'm going to do is I'm located in Canada, and so you'll see down here at the uh, on the bottom is this Canadian flag. Most of the time, you're creating shows for the U.S. market, and so if you want to see what's popular in the U.S., you need to do that. Uh, you need to switch to the U.S. store. So I'm just going to do that. Oh, look at that. I already have a <laughs> beach ball. Let's see if uh, iTunes is going to crash on me here. OK. 
Come on. Oh, yeah, it looks like it crashed. <laughs> That's hilarious. Let's see. We'll just force quit it and start it again. All right, so let's bring this up. Okay, so let's go back to the store. And let's just check the bottom here. Man, iTunes is brutal. Okay, so I am in the American store, which is what I want. And now I'm going to switch to podcasts. And what I'm looking for is, you know, what's in new and noteworthy, what's popular right now. These charts are not exact. And what I'm um, for you know, these aren't exact science. Like, these can be manipulated is what I want to say. And so, uh, you know, take it with a grain of salt. But it's still helpful to see what's popular right now. And so I'm going to... Um, yeah, just browse through here. And just look at what shows are being featured. And what kinds of things do I notice? Well, first of all, the titles are very simple. Large typefaces, you know, Dr. Death, Uncover, 16 Shots. These are really short titles. The they you can see like these thumbnails are quite small and so just having you know this kind of uh, big typeface right in your face is really helpful hey eric how's it going thanks for being here i will try to stay awesome again if anyone has questions as they're watching live on youtube or periscope or any of those things let me know also on twitch if you're on Twitch, um, and for whatever reason, the you know sometimes it, it seems like if you give people hearts Here, in, I will uh, try to stay awesome. It really helps. So again, if anyone has, I don't know, uh, but yeah, if you want to give some hearts in in Periscope, that's fun too. All right, so what you're looking for is yeah, these cover this cover art all has some similarities there's usually like a really bright simple graphic and then one word or two words how to fail hysteria trained heat and light happy face uh, what other things are you noticing here in the new and noteworthy section lots of contrast right uh, if it's a noticeable human face they they emphasize that and the reason is well i mean human beings respond to human faces and also Oops. remember when people are watching or are looking for something new they're scrolling through their phone right and these thumbnails are so small you have to have enough on the package to give people an incentive to want to actually listen to your show and so if you're just getting started with your podcast the first thing you need to do is come up with a concept and a name. And these shows here, this we can if we click through on this show, we can see what category it's uh, it's put into. So this is podcasts, but it's in the technology category. Let's go over here. This one is in the comedy category. This one over here is in the society and culture category. And so we get an idea of where do the top shows live in terms of their category. This one's in the performing arts category. And, you know, if we click on performing arts, we can see what kind of competition does that Wolverine podcast have, right? These are, uh, this is the competition for that category. I'll tell you right now, performing arts is not nearly as competitive as, uh, for example, business. Business is a very competitive uh, category. Uh, let's see if we can find a business podcast. Usually the business podcasts are the ones that are in the uh, in new and noteworthy. Maybe they're 
they're not ranking as highly as they used to. Uh, let's see, Trader Joe's is in the arts food category. And you'll see there's arts, but then there's subcategories. So if we go over here, uh, sorry, where's the subcategories? <laughs> One thing about iTunes is it's really hard to navigate to. Arts. Yeah, how do you actually get into the subcategory? But if we go into food, we'll see, you know, here's the competition for the Trader Joe, Trader Trader Joe's uh, podcast. And, you know, maybe we're not getting as much serious competition. You know, this cover art here doesn't seem nearly as pro as some of the other shows. And that means that you have more of an opportunity to shine if you're in a le uh, less competitive category. So you want to do your research. You want to see, okay, what category do I want to be in? And um, sorry, I want to. Um, and then there's other places you can look to that a lot of folks don't know about. So the first one I want to talk about is Chartable. Chartable is a new application that um, allows you to see ch chart ranks over time, ratings, and reviews. And it's a way of, you know, for example, uh, here's a really popular show called Caliphate. And if I go into here, I will get to see where it is on the charts, what category it's in. So it's number one in the United States of America for news and politics. Uh, it's currently number seven in Great Britain. We can see all of the reviews, and that includes, you know, why are people disappointed? Why were people interested? And you're just gathering information at this point to see, okay, well, how, yeah, what, what do I want to do with my show? What's going to make my show stand out? What kind of subject matter do I want to cover? We can look at the charts here. And what's really helpful here is we can see, you know, in a given category, who are the real movers and shakers. So, um, for example, if I wanted to see technology, I can take a look at what are the, no the top podcasts in technology and, you know, what are the things that kind of stand out? What kind of shows end up being at the top of the, the technology category? And we can, again, we can drill into them. So here's a, a, a technology podcast. Okay, well, let's just actually go into the show and see where, you know, how does it rank? In what categories does it rank? In this case, it's ranking for software how-to and technology. Uh, in the United States, and then Great Britain, Canada, Australia. Here are the reviews. Here's what people like about this show. These are the, the things you want to cover. All right. Uh, <laughs> sorry, just responding to a comment. <laughs> uh, all right, so... Um, Oh, are you asking if I'm the thumbnail? If I'm the video thumbnail, this is this is this is me, Justin. <laughs> and now I'm down below here. Uh, anyway, so that's one place to kind of see, you know, where what kind of shows do people like. Another place is Listen Notes, and let's say that now I'm I'm kind of I've got an idea of what kind of show I want to do, and uh, I want to talk about I'm in the podcasting industry. And so I want to make a sampler show of just like little clips from great episodes I listen to. And so um, I'm going to start thinking of titles that might match up with some of the things I've seen pop uh, over here, right? When I look at the covers and the titles, it's like short and simple and, um, you know, what, what kind of works. And so... I, uh, you know, garden podcast, all these. Okay, so what title am I going to use? Uh, maybe I want, it to, I want it to be called Listen Next. Okay, well, 
I can see that there's already a show called Listen To Next, and it looks like it's, uh, you know, the favorite podcast and YouTube channels. Okay, well, maybe that that's, I don't want to use that title. Uh, I could do this in title as well. Um, uh, you should listen. You know, I could, I could type that in. Does that show up um, as a title that exists already? And I think uh, one, one idea would be great episode. That might be a good title for the show. So let's search that, see if that comes up. It's not coming up there, so let's see if it shows up as a title for shows inside of Listen Notes. Just scrolling, but great episode doesn't show up as a title. So I think that would make uh, a good show, right? That might, that might make a good title. Next step is to create our cover art. And one place to do that if you don't have a lot of money is canva.com so canva has all sorts of templates let's click create design and i'm going to choose album cover let's see if well, let's just search here so we got book cover and then cd cover i don't think they have podcast cover yet but cd cover i think will get us most of the way all right so they have a bunch of templates that are pre-made that we can use as a starting, a starting spot, right? Um, for example, we might want to look at the bold, all the bold options. Oh, there's just one. Um, here's all the artistic options. Oh, there's just two. I can also put in keywords. For example, I might put in microphone. Does that show up? Does that give us anything? That doesn't give us anything. How about audio? Let's see what happens when we type that. No. Um, what else we could we use? We could use technology or tech. That might give us something. <laughs> Man, none of these keywords I'm searching are giving us anything. But I can choose one of these as a starting point and, um, and then go from there. So I'm just going to use this one here. And I'm going to type it in. Great episode. All right. So I've got my title here. If I wanted to, I could put, you know, a show by Justin Jackson. I'm just going to delete this, this thing, that title there, delete that one there. So I just want great episode. Um, and maybe a subheader would be uh, the best, I don't know, Clips from shows you should listen to next. All right. And I'm going to try to drag this down. So it's nice. It'll automatically align things for you. Uh, hey, how's it going? Thanks for being here. Again, if you have questions and you're watching live, uh, just feel free to ask those questions. What we're doing is we're creating a podcast from start to finish, and I'm just making my, my cover art right now. Um, and again, I, I, wanna, I want something like headphones or something like that, and so I, I'm going to change this artwork here. Let's go to Elements, and I'll just type in Headphones. And I've got a bunch of different options here. Um, you know, could find something that might fit, that might look good. Uh, let's actually delete the background here so we can actually, I'll copy and paste it. So if I go here, oh, it was almost, there we go. So I can, I can have it show up like that. Um, I'd obviously have to make this a lot, give it some contrast, use white color. Might also want to bump this up a little bit. It's a little bit um, small, so we could bump it up to like 
42 even. Um, the one thing about this this image is it doesn't really stand out. I'm I'm almost uh, one thing I'll I'll do as a little trick is uh, let's go back to iTunes. Okay, and so uh, and let's say I know I'm going to put this in. Let's see what category. I'll probably put this in arts arts, and then you know okay, what am I gonna you know, what, how would this look up against all the other show, shows and arts? And so I'll take a screenshot of this. I'm just going to make this a bit bigger so I get these ones. A little trick you can do. I'll just take this screenshot here. Okay. And then I'm going to open up fireworks. Oh, look, this is a, <laughs> this is a joke I was making during the Apple keynote. This is in excess it it wasn't a very good joke. Don't worry about it. But I'm gonna I'm gonna open up um, that screenshot I just made. Okay, and um, I'll just like you know take one of these and I'll cut it out. Let me zoom into this. So I'm gonna I'm gonna take this one here. I'm going to cut out this this thumbnail and I'm going to add in that one I just created. So I can download this. Just download it as a PNG. <laughs> and uh, now I'm going to import that into Fireworks here. Actually, I should, I need to close some of these up. These are sorry, I just don't want things to crash while I'm while I'm working on this. All right, so I'm gonna import my new thumbnail in here that I just downloaded. It's right here. You know that that's what it looks like. And um if I import it into here, I'll be able to look at it in context, right? I'll be able to say, you know, what does this actually look like when I when I bring it in? So here's my here's my show, right? And now if I back it up, I can say, okay, well, how does that feel compared to everything else? And I think we see a few things, right? We see um, we see that this is kind of washed up like the the title is kind of washed out compared to some of these other um, covers. And we see that contrast really pays off, right? Uh, in this case, there's quite a bit of yellow, but not a lot of like red or blue. So maybe we want to, you know, focus more on that. Hey, Andreas, good to see you here. We're just building a podcast from scratch. If you have any questions, let me know. What I've just done is I've mocked up a cover and I've put it in context here just to see how it might stand out. And I think what we've realized is it doesn't stand out very good. So I'm going to go back actually to, um, let's go back to our other options here. Why, where is the actual, hold on, let's go home, let's go Got social media, Instagram post. Where is yeah CD cover? They just don't have as many options as they used to. Artistic bold. Yeah, what happened? All results. Here's the all results. But man, they really cut down. They used to have tons and tons of options. It's kind of weird. Um, anyway, let's. We, what we really want is something with some with some some uh, contrast. So, great episode is the title of my podcast, and you know, oh, I guess I gotta copy my other one here. Where's that one I created? Um, listen to clips from, 
uh, sample. Uh, what what's the what's the subheader? Find a new podcast, a podcast to listen to. All right. And so I would do this a couple times. I would like make my artwork and then, you know, keep exploring it until I find some, you know, the, the artwork that kind of stands out the best. But in general, you want to, um, it needs to be really quite bold, right? And so... Uh, if I take a screenshot of this and import it into my little my little mock-up tool here, so I'll delete this old one. Let's import that new one I just took. I think we're getting a bit closer. It's not perfect, but it might be enough to, you know, at least get us going there. That definitely stands out a lot better than you know the other the other one did we can definitely we can't we can't read that subheader at all and so i'm going to go back in and find your next podcast i'll make that a lot bigger by the way if you have suggestions as i'm um you know, as I'm doing this, let me know. And obviously, I could continue to tweak this quite a bit, but I, I think I've I've shown you what I want to show you, which is you know this there's this is one way to create some show art, and um, you know I could try this with some other things too. I could uh, I could filter this. You know, I could make it. I could take. The other thing is I could just make this, you know, just a color if I wanted to. Um, yeah, so Andreas is saying, let's make this make this into a solid color or a gradient, right? So we could we could do that too. Just make it one one color. Um, I think there's a way to actually do gradients as well, but uh, I'm I'm not I'm not sure how to do that. Um, but for now, I'm just going to keep it like this because I just want, I want there to be, um, I don't want to, I don't want to do this the whole time. So I'm just gonna, oh, the other thing is, um, podcast artwork should be about 3000 pixels wide. And so as a default, Canva is only 14 by 1400. Um, and what we can do is they have a, a resize tool and we're going to choose custom dimensions. We're going to choose 3,000 by 3,000. And we're just going to click resize. And it'll automatically keep our dimensions. And um, I'm going to download this now. Uh, I'll download as PNG. Oh, did I? I think I might have just... Do that one more time. Um, Miguel says there's an option in the background menu to select two colors. I don't think I'm going to do that today just because I, I want to move on to the next steps. I've already spent too much time on, uh, on this part here. All right. So now I've got my show artwork. Now I'm going to go into Transistor and um, in this case, I'm going to be creating a brand new show, right? So here's all my shows that I have right now, but I want to create a brand new one. So I'm going to click Add Show. One of the cool things about Transistor is you can um, create multiple shows. And um, we only charge you one monthly fee for having multiple shows. So if you want to try out different, you know, different ideas, if you want to be creative, you can do that without you know, having to uh, get dinged every time you create something new. So I'm going to click Create Show. And right here is the spot to upload my artwork, right? That artwork I was just working on. So I'll go to Download. And here it is right here. All 
All right. So that's uploaded now. Um, the title of the show is Great Episode. The short description is um, find your next favorite podcast. We'll play clips from awesome shows. You decide if you want to subscribe. And this is just a placeholder for now. Again, another place to look for your description is to um, is to go in back into iTunes and um, sorry, where is iTunes and see what other folks are doing. Where is iTunes? Not lose it. Oh, it's right here. <laughs> uh, see what people are doing for their descriptions. What you know? What descriptions really stand out? Um, if we go to within the wires, you know what. It looks like about three lines. You know, you can start to to figure out what the pros are doing, and you just copy that. So it looks like three to four lines, and you're just it's the sales pitch for the show. Um, and uh, okay, so that's the description. Okay, so the category. This is like I said, really important. This is going to be who you're competing with. Are you going to be competing with, you know, all of the other millions of business podcasts or is there a little niche you can put your show and, you know, maybe stand out a little bit more? So it could be society and culture I could put this show into. Uh, again, if you want to see, like, what's the competition, you just go to that category and you'll see right away what are the shows. Here's new and noteworthy. This is who you're competing against, Right. And if you think you can compete against these folks, then that's the category you should choose. Um, there's a podcasting category. Let's actually go to that. It, it's, uh, if I remember correctly, it's really, really competitive. So this is the technology spot and man i still don't know how do you get these subcategories are really hard to um and here we go it's down here podcasting so these are the you know these are the this is the competition for podcasting i don't know maybe i could make it into this um looks like there's there's some weird shows in here actually um anyway so let's choose that technology podcasting the author, that is the, the person who is creating the show. Like, who is this podcast by? It could also be your company name. I'm just going to put transistor.fm. And, uh, you know, there's copyright. I'll put transistor as my website. Keywords, um, I'll put podcast, podcasting, episodes, recommendations, and then language is going to be English. And then show owner, that is your personal kind of administrative information. So Justin Jackson and Justin at transistor.fm is my email. If your show is going to be explicit, uh, let me actually hold on here. I just realized that I am covering the the uh, this part of the screen. Here we go. Let's cover that. Uh, yeah, if your show is going to be explicit, then you want to check this. You can also enable other analytics from PodTrack. Uh, I always do this by default because it just gives you a comparison. PodTrack is another... Um, it's like a, a third-party analytics platform, and it will allow you to see what uh you know what how your shows compare um you know it allows you basically to compare your stats that you're getting from your podcast host with you know what they're picking up so and they use a redirect link to accomplish that so anyway that's the show we're gonna click create my show
and just wait a little while while it does that. Um, the next step is going to be to submit this to iTunes. That's the that's well, actually, we're gonna have to create an episode and then submit this to iTunes. So we've created our podcast, right? Called Great Episode. The next thing is to add my first show. And uh, I've already, I pre-recorded one here. This is the, um, this is a little teaser. Uh, you'll notice I'm actually, re I'm editing these in, um, how come that didn't work? Uh, I'm editing this in, uh, ScreenFlow, which is a screencasting recorder and editor. But I just love, see, this is a spot where you would have like your video. But I just love their non-linear editor. It's really easy to do ripple deletes. So I can select a section and then hit command delete and it automatically deletes that section, which makes editing super, super fast. And so if you're looking for a podcast editor. You can also use GarageBand or, uh, you know, there's other ones, but I really like ScreenFlow. So if you already have it on your machine, that's a good way um, to do it. I don't know if I can play audio. Let's see here. What's my audio? What are my audio options? Um, sound. Sound levels. Let's see what this is. Um, oh, system audio. So I should be able to play this. This is what it sounds like. Hey, it's Justin Jackson, and I listen to a lot of podcasts. Often, when I'm listening, I'll find an episode I just have to share with a friend. Well, that's what this show is about. Instead of me just texting a friend a link, I want to share with you some of my favorite moments from different shows I listen to. And if you're intrigued and want to listen to the whole episode, just click the link in your show notes. So if you're looking for a new podcast to listen to, subscribe to Great Episode. You can find it in Apple Podcasts or wherever you listen to shows. All right, so that's, the, that's my teaser. This is going to be the, the first uh, episode I put out. Uh, it makes a great first episode because if people are thinking about subscribing to your show right at the beginning, just like a, a movie does a trailer, the first thing they see in iTunes or wherever is the teaser for the show. Uh, by the way, here's another little trick that uh, I want to use for when you're t doing descriptions. Um, so I just recorded that teaser where I edited and articulated what the show is about. This is called Descript, this, this app right here. And um, I can pull in that teaser. Here's the MP3 that I, I just created. And I'll put teaser. Uh, and this will automatically transcribe my audio into text. So the... Uh, and it's quite quick. And so if you're struggling with writing a good description, one of the things you can do is reuse the different assets you have, right? So maybe you figure things out better when you're recording the audio and you're editing it like that. Well, then you'll get a description like this uh, that happened in, you know, 10, 20 seconds. And um, now I can just grab this audio, this text here, and I can make this, if I go back to my show settings, I could make this my description, right? So, um, I could just say, Justin listens to a lot of podcasts, right? And so, I, I could kind of edit this, um, I want, or I could just say, I listen to a lot of podcasts. I listen to a lot of podcasts. I want to share with you some of my favorite moments from different shows. If you're intrigued and want to listen to the whole episode, just click the link in your show notes. Right? So, um, great way to find new shows to listen to. 
so now I was able to um, I was able to create my description from the the stuff I'd already articulated in my teaser and so it also helps because it, it gives your your show some some commonality you almost have to, you just have to you know come up with the narrative once and then you can reuse it over and over again so descript that's a, a cool little trick um, I think if you go to justinjackson.ca slash tools, I think it's listed there. And if you sign up using my link, we both get um, we both get a bunch of free minutes. Is that on there? Oh, no, it's not. Maybe just go to justinjackson.ca slash descript. I'll, I'll make that a link. Um, and it'll automatically forward to, uh, to Descript so you can get yourself some free minutes. Uh, all right, so we've done that now. I'm going to add my first episode. So um, this is what this... Find your next... Find a good episode to listen to is going to be my... Uh, title and I'm gonna have this publish just today September 13th I'm gonna choose my audio file that is this one right here and um, episode summary um, in this case I'll probably just uh, use the that same text uh, hey it's Justin or I'm Justin Jackson I listen to a lot of podcasts. I want whoop, to recommend the best shows I find. Okay. Season one, episode one. And instead of full episode, I'm going to choose trailer. So this is a short promotional piece that represents a preview of a show. So I'm going to click trailer. Automatically says... You know, this is the author. These are the keywords. And then I'll have full show notes down below. In this case, I'll just paste in um, uh, this part here, right? And so if I swore in this episode, I'd click create episode it has explicit content, but I'll just create this episode here. And um, at this point, I can preview what it looks like. Look at that. I've got my first show, right? If I click play, this will play the trailer I just uploaded. Hey. I just, Justin Jackson, just created a podcast just like that. And you can also see how the description is different between, um, you know, the full show notes, right? So uh, this sub headline here is the episode summary. And then the full show notes are below here. Uh, Meek Beast asks a question. Can you explain the difference between full trailer and bonus quick? Uh, must have missed. Uh, yeah, so the basically there are three types of episodes um, in, the, in the RSS spec for podcasts. One is full episodes, so that's a full normal length uh, episode. Then you have trailer, which... Most folks will use as their number one episode, like the first show they publish, but you can also use it to as a teaser for upcoming episodes. So, you know, you might publish 10, but then you've got a real, you know, a real good one coming out next week, but you want to give people a little tease, so you do 30 seconds. You know, sometimes what I'll do is I'll another little trick. I'll have like a, you know, 30 minute episode and I'll just be like, oh, I just want this as the teaser. So I'll select that and then I will export the selected range um, and call it teaser. And, you know, then that's a, a preview of the upcoming episode. And then bonus, uh, that's kind of like extra stuff. So you might have done a long interview with somebody, but you know, you talk too long and you want to have like, you know, well, here's the bonus material that we couldn't fit into the regular show. And so this allows people to, you know, filter by, you know, if they want the full episodes or trailers or bonuses. And it's, yeah, just a nice way to, um, to break things up. You, not everything has to be a big full length episode. Um, 
Yes, Miguel, I know the the forms need more Ajax. Um, we're working on all that, all right? We're working on all that. So I'm going to save. Um, yeah, so David Sherry, the I've actually I think the trailer is the most underused um, uh, episode type because you got to think about it if if you're um, uh, here, I'll just put your question back on the screen here if you are scrolling through Apple Podcasts and you're looking for a show to listen to are you going to invest uh, a full hour in um, you know uh, you know, seeing if the show's right for you. No, you're gonna. But if they have a 30 second preview, then um, yeah, then you can uh just listen to it quick. So yeah, that's the that's you. You should be using trailers for sure, and it's a great way to increase downloads and stuff. Um, hey, I see. I'm getting a bunch of folks on Twitch and stuff. Um, I'm not sure if you folks are real, but I will say hello anyway. Hello to whoever that is. Hello to whoever this is. Um, yeah, the 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 bonus episode option is really really great, and um, yeah, I I uh, <laughs> oh man. I'm getting a bunch of bots in Twitch. Anyway, so uh, this episode is done. Um, if I go back to my my episodes list, I can, again, I can embed this in uh, a landing page. I can, you know, share that simple landing page I showed you. I can link to the MP3. And I can submit this to um, iTunes now, which is great. So... Yeah, I'm streaming everywhere here. Streaming to Twitch, streaming to uh, Periscope, streaming everywhere. Uh, I have not heard of Standard Notes. Um, I haven't. I haven't. I have not tried that yet. Now, okay. So uh, I think what most people are interested in at this point is how to submit to iTunes. So. Um, I'm going to. Um, I'm going to show you how to do that. So if I go back to my overview, I've got. You can see I've got one episode. I've got one download. Um, by the way, we also have built-in uh, podcast websites for Transistor. So I might just call this, for example, great at transistor.fm. I can enable uh, an actual website. So if you want you know, a landing page for your site, you can use that. Uh, another trick, uh, if any of you have used card, I think this is also a really effective way to, uh, to promote a show. Uh, which one of these are free? I think, I think this one's free here. So let me just show you this quick here. So we called ours great episode, right? And um, if I wanted to embed the my latest episode as the teaser, like I want people to subscribe, I can use this embed. Oh, you need pro. Uh, here, hold on. I'll just log into my account. Um, oh, sorry. You guys can't see my screen. Ha, 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 ha. Sorry about that. Here we go. Uh, yeah, just give me a second here. I'm going to log in. Yeah, I got it. I got it. I figured it out. But this is really cool if you're um, if you're looking to, you know, you just want a landing page, really simple landing page for your show. Okay, so I'll bring this back here. So um, actually, let's use this one here because this is kind of already in the in the spot. Uh, I'm using uh, Aquar. I'm using. Uh, 
Ecamm Live, which allows me to federate what what goes on here and what doesn't. So, all right, so I can add in embedded uh, and embed here, and so I can just go over here to my my episodes and click share, copy the embed code, and here's the code right here. Done. And now this, let's go way up. Whoa, there's a lot here. Um, if I want the the episode, you know, my teaser episode to play right on the page, I'll have to show you this. I don't think there's a way of previewing this. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and we'll call this great. If I click publish, uh, oh, shoot, I've got to configure all these things. But the whole idea is that it would show as a, uh, can I actually go, let's see if it will let me, greatcard.co. Oh, yeah, it's not working. Anyway, I'll demo that later. But the whole point is card can also be a great way to make a landing page for your show. Okay, so the next thing we need to do is submit your show to iTunes. And um, the the reason there are some podcast hosts that are allowing you to, like they'll just do this on your behalf. But the reason you don't want to do that is that if they submit to iTunes on your behalf, uh, you will no longer have control over your show. They will like if you want to make changes, if you want to switch to a different podcast host, if you want to, you know, manually refresh the, the the feed or whatever, you won't be able to do that. And so Apple has this thing called Podcast Connect. And um, another trick is you'll want to create your own, like a separate iTunes account just for this. So if you already have an iTunes account, create a new one. And uh, this is what it looks like. And so you just log in. And now you can submit your new shows. Um, all right. So, um, we're going to add a new show right now, right? We just created that one. We're going to add a brand new show. So the way we do that, where where do we do that? <laughs> gotta gotta remember how I how I do this in the. So here's my shows, my podcasts, and I'm going to click this plus icon here, and all it's asking for is the RSS feed, right? So go back to Transistor. If I go to my overview, I will see mm -mm, my RSS feed right here. So I'm just going to copy that. Go back to Podcast Connect. Put it in there. Click Validate. Another thing that's nice about Transistor is we give you uh, uh, all of our, like if you host on us, we uh, have SSL configured. And Apple is starting to ask for that out of the out of the box, and so you'll see it's pulled in all of my feed information, my show art, my title, um, what category it's in. All of that stuff was identified inside the um, the show settings, right? And so it's just pulling all of that in, and um, it also has my first episode listed down here, that one I just published. So I'm going to click Submit. And now my podcast has been submitted for review. And this can take 24, 48 hours, all that stuff. And um, once it's done, they'll email you. So whatever email address you have set up for this is what they'll use. But here's why I want to, I'll show you quickly. This is why you want to 
control it because otherwise you won't see all of the analytics that Apple Podcasts gives you. Because they control the player, they can tell me that 79% of listeners to the last episode listen to the whole episode, right? Um, they can tell me things that I can't see otherwise. So it, it makes sense to control this. I can also, if I need to, you know, if I need to refresh the feed or I need to delete the podcast or hide the podcast, I have control over all that. So you want to control your submission to iTunes. And uh, the only way to do that is if you get the feed yourself, sign up for your own account, and submit it like this. Cool. Uh, I think I'm going to end it there. Is there anything else you folks want to know about um, how to submit a podcast for the first time? Anything? After this, most folks want to submit to Spotify and Google Podcasts and all those things. iTunes is the first one you need to you need to um, submit to. But after you're after you've submitted to iTunes, uh, I'll show you right here. So iTunes is the first one. Overcast, Pocket Cast, they almost all use the iTunes directory as the um, as the what they scrape basically to form their directory. And so do iTunes first. We have an automatic, par we have a partnership with Spotify that allows me to submit my show directly to Spotify. Uh, I could just click this button and I would be in. And so that is, um, that's built in, but everything else we recommend, you submit to iTunes first and then Overcast, for example, will automatically generate a URL based on your iTunes submission. Uh, Miguel wants to know, how do I get people to listen to it? He also asks, is there a list of all the places you can submit to? Yes. So uh, if you go to our help docs, actually, help.transistor.fm, I have um, this category, submitting to iTunes, and this link here, submit your show to all the popular directories, has all of the links that you should click on. For example, like you, you can generate a, a, a link for Google Podcasts, um, submit to Google Play, submit to TuneIn, submit, submit to Castro, all of those places. This will show you how to do it all. Um, here's, you know, you want to submit to Breaker. I link right to the form where you can do that. So that is uh, that list on help.transistor.fm is super, super helpful. Cool. Um, I hope that gives you a picture of what it's like to you know create a podcast and go through all of the steps. We spent too much time on cover art, but Really, that's the truth of it, is you spend way more time on the initial content and topic and subject matter and packaging so that when you start promoting it, people want to listen to it. You do a lot of that work up front. So, you know, once that's done and you've got a great, you know, you've got great cover art, you've got a great title, and you've got a, a really compelling teaser, now you can start submitting it to everybody else and... Um, hopefully getting listeners. At the end of the day, what gets listeners is great content. So definitely invest time and effort into that. And then um, you'll have, when you're sharing it, people will be more likely to listen. Cool. Well, thanks again for showing up live. And um, yeah, I'll try to do this again another time. If you've got questions, you can email me at justin at transistor.fm. See you later.